Hi, it is Yadira from our Club de las Diosas and today I will be talking about how to use a doodle book creator to create maze and crosswords. As I mentioned before in my previous video, this is a great paid resource where you can do a lot of, re uh, a lot of cool things to create your activity books, even your regular books and so forth. As you can see, even under activity books, there's so many different options. And when you go to other tools, there are other type of books that you can create as well. So for today, we're going to focus on maze, puzzle tools, as well as crosswords, puzzles, which are uh, favorites among children. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started with create maze puzzle books and you can see how easy this is done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select the trim size of 8.5 by 11. And as you can see it has already a lot of defaults and presets and I just keep it as is. The only changes that I'm going to do for this case is just going to change the number of mazes because obviously I just want to show you one and select a different font because I like Roboto for this kinds of puzzles. Uh, I'm going to keep everything as is, but you can change it accordingly. And uh, the good thing is that if you want to use another language on the titles, you can do so as well, which is really, really cool. Um, then you click on download and this is exactly how your maze is going to look like. It's going to create one maze uh, for 8.5 by 11, which is what, what I selected, and then a page that creates uh, the solution itself so you can use it for the back of your activity book. So now I'm going to show you how to create two mazes for uh, the same page and I'm going to randomize this so you can see what randomized openings look like and I'm going to switch it to 7 by 10 so you can see a different size so you can see the differences between the, the, the two sizes. So once I hit download, you see it's a smaller scale. Um, I have one maze and the second maze. And here you'll see that on the first maze, the start is on the right hand side and on the second one, um, it's in the middle. And then on uh, the third page, you will have the solutions. Again, in less what, than two minutes, <laughs> we were able to do two great mazes for your activity books in different sizes, which is really, really cool. Now I'm going to show you how to do a crossword puzzle. Now with crossword puzzles, there's a little bit much more time involved because of the way that they are. So in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and select a seven by 10. I'm gonna create one puzzle and you'll see why. Um, I'm going to change it into Roboto. Now, as I mentioned before, there's already a lot of presets in here. And uh, the great thing is, like I mentioned, you can do it in different languages. So how do you do a crossword? So you got to think about uh, almost like in the if you're playing the, the game Jeopardy, right? You got to have the answers and you got to have the questions to your answers. So on the left hand side, you write the answers, in this case, yellow. And then on the right hand side, I'll put the question and the question will be name the color for the sun. Um, and you continue on and on. And um, what you can do to make things easier, you can either select a theme to this, or you could just do something very, very random. You know, it's totally up to you. That's what is great about it. You can customize it accordingly. Um, one cool way to theme it, let's say for example, for summertime, that will be easy because you can have the sun and umbrellas and you know, beach and sand. So then all you have to do is create a clue so people can understand you know, what are they looking for when they go across and down. So because I only have five clues, I'm gonna go ahead and reduce it to five. And here I'm gonna have uh, clue number five. And then after I enter the clue itself, I'm going to hit download so you can take a look at how the crossword is going to be. So exciting. Let's see how it looks like. Awesome. So as you can see, the puzzle itself creates where the across and the downs are going to be. Um, and everything else is grayed out. And it also creates the solutions um, that you need for your crossword puzzle. Again, very, very simple to do. All you gotta do is take a little bit more time to create, obviously, the answers and the clues for the puzzles. Uh, as I mentioned before, I do do a book creator. It is a paid 
um, program with a lot of different features, a lot of different tools. I'm gonna leave um, leave the link below so if you're interested you can um, go ahead and, and get your own copy and ho hopefully if you have any questions i can answer them and don't forget to subscribe